guys, welcome back to another episode. Yes, I have a vacation beard. I just got back from Puerto Rico with my family. Puerto Rico is a wonderful place. I highly recommend it. But anyways, we are wiring our solar panels. I have a plan written out here. I'm a terrible drawer, but here it is. All right, here's our plan. We have our nine 270 watt panels, which we are gonna wire three in series and three parallel. They get wired in series through the wires and then they get wired in parallel through our solar combiner box. Here's our solar combiner box. It's made by Solodeck. It is suited to our specific needs. We're gonna wire this thing up. Each of these panels has a little red for positive and a black for negative cable. Now when you wire in series, you're attaching the positive, which is the red, to the negative of another panel. So we're doing that one, two times which puts our three panels in series. Now we've got to get the positive from this one panel and the negative from this other panel to our solar combiner box. So to do that I need solar extension cables. These have MC4 connectors. They're uh, bare at the other end and that's going to make our run. So this is like a 25 foot run and this is like a 10 foot run and that's 25 foot. You know, we're going to attach this to the top of the bus and then send a wire through into our electrical cabinet where this is all going to go to the next piece of our puzzle. All right guys, so I've scoped out my location for the solar combiner box. We're right above my electrical cabinet. So we've got to make a hole for this knockout, which is going to send our wires down to the charge controller. Hope that we don't get unlucky and like go dead on a rail. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just going to wing it. I think I'm going to get lucky. So there's my hole right there. That's absolutely fine. So we're all good here. We got no wires in our way. That's fantastic. We got no frame. I'm going to drill the rest of this from the bottom so that it looks better. I guess it's time to put this combiner box in here. There's one thing I've been frustrated by in this bus conversion experience. It's sealants. Nobody really knows what the best thing is for what. I'm going to be putting some Dicor around this. Okay, so I got this all installed. I added some extra screws because of the curve of the roof. And we have three layers of die core on here. So now I'm gonna get started on wiring panels to here. I've got this first back array wired in series. So I've got my negative to my positive, my negative to my positive, and then a positive line coming all the way back here. That's the red one right there. And a negative line coming from here into the solar deck. So now I'm gonna show you how I do that with the front array. first circuits in and I've got one more to do. I don't necessarily do things um, ex like the most professional way. Like for example, I don't have the wire strippers for 10 gauge stranded, so I just used a knife. I want you guys to see like the safest, most professional way to do things. That's not always um, what I do. I've just installed these without any fuses in here. So as you can see, there's no fuses. There's no way for this electricity to make a complete circuit from the hot lines to the neutrals. There's really no concern. I'm just working with one side of a circuit. Hey Nova. What do you have? Oh, those are my fuses. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna need those eventually. Oh. <laughs> I need all of them. Oh. How do you think I'm doing? I should probably hire that guy over there. Yeah. Okay. Like and subscribe? Yeah. Okay. You heard the little lady. Oh, God, God. All right, so we're all wired up now. Ta-da! No fuses in there, so everything's still broken. I should be able to run some eight gauge wire from here to my solar charge controller, put my fuses in, and see if I did everything right. Beard. One more thing, I can confirm do not use Dicor on a roof with Henry's Tropical. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I've never seen something connect less in my life. Once this dries, I'm gonna peel all this off. Henry's Tropical is all right, but nothing sticks to it. I think silicone sticks to it, but I don't even know.
All right guys, this is the next step in our solar install. I had this setup made by Charles Kearns, who does bus conversions. His Instagram is at look at that bus and his website is chromeyellowcorp.com. I had him help me with this when I was feeling just really overwhelmed and I didn't want to learn about the electrical stuff. And so he put together this panel for me. I gave him all of my needs and he helped make me make the decisions to an extent made them for me and then assembled this panel and shipped it to me. I now realize it's really pretty simple. Something I absolutely could have done myself, but at the time I didn't feel like that. So this is where my whole system gets connected. The inverter comes in here. My solar bank connects here as well. I've got a shutoff switch for the inverter and I've also got shutoff switches for the solar panels. So what I've got to do, I've got to bring my lines from the solar panels into this box and connect it appropriately. And that all gets controlled by the solar charge controller, which is going to send power that's appropriate for the battery bank and receive it from the panels. Now that goes to some DC load centers. These are two 12 volt load centers. And then these right here are step down converters. These take the 24 volt energy from the battery bank and turn it into 12 volt. Pretty simple stuff, I think. I haven't gotten to playing with this yet because I only just got the solar on the roof, of course. I'm gonna mount this in my electrical cabinet and then bring in the solar panels. It's gonna get mounted like right here. You know, you could definitely fit this into a much smaller space than I'm planning to do it. This is what I did, so gotta keep going. All right, I wired this solar deck. I got my positive and negative headed down into the electrical cabinet. And now I've gotta wire my interconnect box. Then I think I'm gonna stick a, a fuse in this and see what happens. So let me get off this roof. So this is the current setup I went for. I'll have my inverter right here. I'll have to run a wire from the inverter along that wall and then up into here. I think there's some things here that I'm not quite understanding yet. And uh, so I just want you to know that like this is, we're in the trial and error stage of figuring out what we're doing. Don't knock me too much. I'm gonna figure it out eventually. But I have wired my positive from the panels onto the PV positive, and then I have wired in my negative. Hmm, why does that say positive? Oh, shoot. Well, look at that, I did it backwards. All right, so let's fix that. <laughs> I'm glad I took a moment to try and explain to you what the heck I was doing because I got something pretty wrong and I don't know what would have happened if I had flipped that breaker, but I've switched it. Now I have to find those little fuses and then go back on the roof and stick them in. I'm gonna find them, be right back. Now we get to find out if what I did works. After this, I'm going surfing. It's like three to four foot and I was surfing in Puerto Rico and I'm all itching for it. I've been working hard. Uh, I, I, I need to surf, okay. These fuses go in this solar combiner box. Goes in there, then you close it. Might as well do all three, right? Hopefully those don't all pop. Once I hit the breaker on this interconnect, then it'll be live. And I honestly don't even know what I'm expecting to happen. Um, I think best case scenario, the solar charge controller will light up and turn on. Like that would be cool. And then I can get some readings from it. So here it goes. And then yeah, this breaker. And then this breaker, and this one. Okay, well, nothing's happening. So I do have this at least to tell me what, if anything's live. So these aren't live. Yeah. All right, let's go back outside. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know how to test this stuff. I don't know, I got no idea. Mm -hmm. 